Welcome to the Microsoft Nancy Ambassador UCC Community Core. In today's session, we are going to look at how you can become a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. Without further ado, let's dive in. So this is my intro. My name is Desmond Dazi, and I'm an alpha member of the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors Program. I'm a student of the University of Cape Coast, and the email that is desmond.dazi at centambassador.com is the mail you can reach me on easily. So let's dive into today's session. What do we have for the agenda today? Well, we are going to consider the history of the Microsoft Learn Center Ambassadors Program. We will also talk about the purpose of the Microsoft Learn Center Ambassadors Program, what the Student Ambassador Program is all about, the advantages a student stand to gain being a part of the Student Ambassador Program, the application process, and also the levels of the Microsoft Learn Center Ambassadors Program. Now, the brief history of the Microsoft Learn Center Ambassadors. The Microsoft Learn Center Ambassadors uh, program began with the initial name as Microsoft Student Partners or MSP. So that was the initial name known. Then it was initiated in 2001. At that time, it was operating in only 15 countries for five solid years. And in 2006, the program was expanded worldwide to 50 countries. So from 15 countries, 50 countries. Now, on July 20th, 2020, the program rebranded from Microsoft Student Partners to Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors Program. Now, to the purpose of the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors Program. The program is an educational and also a promotional program to sponsor both undergraduate and postgraduate students who are majoring in disciplines related to technology. So be it computer science, information technology, electrical engineering, cybersecurity, and the like, they are all encouraged to join the Microsoft Center Ambassador. Another importance of the Center Ambassador program is to enhance student employability. So the program trains you with skills, product specific skills, not the ones uh, generally taught in academia, but specific skills that can help students boost their resume and make them stand out from the crowd when they are going for employment. The Student Ambassadors Program is a global group of on campus ambassadors. And one identity is these ambassadors are eager to help students in their community. They lead in their local tech circles and also develop technical and career skills for the future. So as a student ambassador, you might find yourself organizing a campus or community hackathon or event as you're having right now, mentoring other students or even volunteering with an elementary school science, technology, engineering, mathematics class. Now, the advantages a student stand to gain from the Microsoft Learning Student Ambassadors program. Well, First off, you get an amazing community to work with, outstanding experience that you can add to your resume to increase your employability. Live and hands call with the leads of Microsoft Lessons Ambassadors Program and also their community. You also get Microsoft products, premium versions like Microsoft Office, Visual Studio Enterprise, Azure subscriptions, and the like. Also, free domain name. You get access to the Microsoft Learn Center Ambassador Summit, text made products like Camtasia and Snagit, Microsoft Technical Education Voucher, LinkedIn Learning, Swagbox, which is uh, which includes a lot of goodies like uh, branded Microsoft branded water bottles, hoodies, stickers, Rubik's Cube, and many others. You get guidance from experts so that you too can become an expert yourself. Opportunity to organize and conduct events with others. You meet amazing personalities and also helpful friends who share the same passion as you. Now let's look at the milestones an individual goes through in order to become the Microsoft uh, Learn Ambassador. First off, 
you go through the application process. And after the application process, if you get accepted, then you officially become a Microsoft Lens Lens Ambassador. So the benefit you get, you get the Microsoft 365, TechSnet, Nugget, and also the campaigns you have for screen recording. After the application process is done and you're accepted, you have to complete the learning path. So after completing the learning path, you then get moved to the second milestone, which is the Alpha Student Ambassador milestone. So the benefit you get are Visual Studio, Azure Credit, the Microsoft Technical Education Voucher, LinkedIn Learning Voucher, and the Name.com Voucher. Now, after doing this, you host an event and you also complete a technical onboarding session. After that, you are uh, the next milestone, which is the beta. Now, the benefit of being a beta student ambassador is you get one more Microsoft Technical Education Voucher if you are able to successfully pass the previous one. You also get prizes and titles for AI gaming tournament. An expense reimbursement if you have to be uh, flown outside for a summit. You also get a swag box, and that's your official first swag box you get from Microsoft. Then you get considered for the Microsoft Student Ambassador Summit. From here, you are selected to lead, and if you are selected to lead, you move on to the Gold Student Ambassador. Now, as a Gold Student Ambassador, the benefits are four more Microsoft Technical Certification vouchers after successfully passing the previous uh, exams. You also get considered for special events, and even you can get speaking engagement where you'll be asked to talk on a particular subject. You also get the opportunity for program leadership and also participation in pilot activities. You also stand a chance to get mentorship for the Microsoft Most Valued Professional and even get consideration for Microsoft Most Valued Professional, mostly called MVP examination. Now, you might be wondering, with all these good gifts, you might want, how, how do I apply so that I can also enjoy some of these wonderful benefits? So at this point, uh, my co-host friend, Adimado, will take over from here and show us the practical ways, even giving us some tricks and some tips that we can use during our application process to increase our chances of getting accepted into the program. So, Prince, over to you. All right, so thank you very much. I am Prince Adimado. I'm a beta Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. I'm also a computer science student in Ghana at Accra Technical University. All right, so if you have jumped onto this video, we are about to show you. Thank you very much, Jess Mott. We're going to we'll be going through how to apply to become a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. This is, this is a video part, and also I have a, I've written a blog post, a written article, or written guide to help you become a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador on how to do it. And I'll link that link to the blog post in the video description. All right, so let's jump straight. I'll, 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 for, for the first step, I'll provide you like the walkthrough on the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador website. All right, so you amplify your impact and establish yourself as a mentor in your community while developing the technical skills and emotional intelligence you need to succeed. So you click on apply now to start applying and also once you have once you if it's if this is your first time applying what you have to do what you have to do is to once you click on apply you create an account to a microsoft account right and you create an account so you have to have a microsoft account the prerequisite is that have a microsoft account then create the account the microsoft play student ambassador account with your microsoft account so once you, so Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador, when you're a student ambassador, you become a force for good locally and globally. You might find yourself helping fellow students building their coding skills online with Microsoft Learn, organizing a virtual hackathon to solve real world challenges, any certifications or building digital communities. It's all up to you. What you have, what you do with the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador opportunity depends on you. Alright, so you have to make a difference with students around the world, uh, grow your skills and build your reputation as a tech insider. 
so for this program you get access to resources for microsoft employees and all that and you'll be very informed for me when i before i joined the program i, did, I only knew about microsoft office i didn't know that microsoft had, had this like a lot of technologies i didn't know how they have a lot of technologies i didn't even know that but once i joined this program i was blown away i've learned a lot the experience and all that has been very like it has been a very good as very like, it has been a very good experience and also you become a leader in your local tech com a community empowering your peers how it works uh, just uh student advisor program provides plenty of opportunity for you to learn the emphasis is on, on you learning empower yourself empower your communities and uh, learning technologies that will shape your career in order and so the amount of students in the program you have the alpha milestone you have the beta you have the gold once you join the program let's say you apply and get accepted you, you become you a new you're a new microsoft learning student ambassador so you have to complete a learning path to get to go, uh, to get to beta then then um to, uh, you have to complete a learning path to to uh, to get to beta to get to um i think uh, beta you have to complete uh, a technical onboarding post an event and then you just get to beta right so these are some of the these are some of the Microsoft Learning Students Ambassador have to say. And what catches like caught my attention here is the Microsoft Learning Students Ambassador, the Microsoft Learning Students Ambassador community completely changed my life. It means the program alone changed her life. And someone also says being a, a student ambassador is about learning, teaching sharing empowering people from your local community while meeting amazing people along the way then uh, someone also say it's a great place to learn new skills connect with people get mentorship and have much more with empowering each other we learn so much from from our peers across the group so this was the microsoft learning student ambassador are saying and this is a guide or work through uh in a uh, microsoft learn uh, website microsoft learn student ambassador website so okay let's jump straight into the application questions i'll first go to the notifications okay so let me go i have to go to the previous page so it's not been here before previous page all right so this, so this once you once you sign in you, you'll be prompted to come here first just read once you are done just click on that you, you accept the privacy and terms and also the criteria is that you have to be at least 16 years old in terms of assignment you have to be enrolled in a accredited academic institution be an individual person and not a microsoft employee all right so so you have for this session you have to input your personal information so input your personal information at this side yes so follow the form and provide your personal information um then for the online influence provide the social media the social network we are on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, all, all the all the platform that you are, you are on. If you are not on Twitter, don't worry. Provide the ones we are on, and you'll be you'll be good to go. So let's move on. Then for the academic institution information, you have you provide like um. So you select your country, click on the drop down, you select your country, then your then the, your pro so once you select your country, your it like the and you could the the form we will decide the way to get your to get your states or your provinces. Then type your type your academic institution name, the name of your college. 
or university provide the, the course you are doing so the course you are doing provide this over here yeah, so if, if the course you are doing it is highlighted or it's in the, this option just select one or any one of these but if it's not just select the other then type me they will prompt you to type in your 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 program name so said so for for each and each student kindly select bachelor so this this means that you can be a master you can or phd holder and still be a microsoft learning student ambassador so for for each and each student kindly select the bachelor option then expect your graduation all right so so please answer the the, the questions in the following sections with one video curated responses only one video under two minutes should be provided please make sure you are recording in the quiet space with minimal background noise so that you can hear you clearly so and also provide so this is this way the actual your 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 selection into the program is based on so yeah yeah there are, there are three questions and also uh, for if if you have applied before the application questions have changed that, that may change entirely but <laughs> yes that may change entirely it's no no more no more inspire teach and to promote again so they have changed the program the application questions yes so um okay so for application questions please select the area where you want to demonstrate your public speaking skills and video so i've selected um welcome but you can select any one of them you can select guide you can select connect it's just pop up at the top yeah, so when you tell them say i selected guide so uh instead that we are looking for students who are driven to guide their peers in learning technical skills tell us about one specific technical skills you have learned and how you were and how you were guided to let you have learned how you were guided and how would how will you use that support uh, that experience to, to be a better microsoft learning student ambassador so within two minutes of, of that of that of that video so microsoft how you guide someone or how uh, how you learn that technology how you help someone to uh, how you use that training or that skill to teach someone how to learn that particular technology and huh? how to help you to become that experience to become a better microsoft learning student ambassador and also microsoft wants to know the how the emphasis is on how so microsoft wants to know the how it doesn't want to, doesn't want to know the words no the knowing the how is key so give a thorough explanation on the how and also and also the second question we are looking for students who can provide an inclusive access accessible authentic environment to learn tell us about a specific time you uh, welcome a new person in your community and also yeah so the community can be a tech community your class group your yes the, your college are in the the whatsapp group you guys are in and you know, all can be anything other communities you are associated with and all that yes so try to provide bring those all that is all that experiences and put them into a assignment that's a that's a uh, answer and also one tip is that uh when it comes to the written when it comes to the written written um when it comes to the written uh, section uh, or the rating where well, the rating section well, you have to write two written uh, answers open your microsoft plan you can be your google docs whatever to you have write your answer you have a, you have a maximum of 2000 characters so you can't just write three sentences four sentences and you, and you are expected to and you and you want to stand a chance in in, uh, in being selected yes yeah, so i recommend maximum of what maximum of no maximum at least three a minimum of three paragraphs a minimum you can write more more than that for me when i was when i was applying 
I exhausted the 2,000 characters. I almost exhausted some some of the questions. I almost exhausted ex exhausted it all. I almost like I nearly reached the 2,000 characters uh, length. Yeah. So also for honestly, how do you upload your video? To upload your video, to upload the video, open your Microsoft OneDrive, uh, record your video with your phone, with your phone. Then after that, upload the video into your OneDrive. I recommend you create a folder, then you copy the video into you copy that that file, the video file into the new folder. And then open that folder up. Say everybody can view. So you, you click on the you click on the more options on the video. You click on share. Then you see anyone with the with the link can view the content of that folder. Once you got that, says let's copy the file. Just copy the file. Uh, just copy the link to that folder and provide the link here. Once you provide the link, it will be something like this HTTPS, HTTPS, then OneDrive, something like the OneDrive dot Microsoft dot com, then, then the other, the other link, right? So once you paste it, something like this, so come here. You see there's an HTTPS and HTTPS already. So you just clean your HTTPS from this side. Then to remain to so it's be like to be like a full link. You get it. Yes, so that this is how you have to you have to do. This is what you have to do. So I also have provided as as I said, I have provided a link to the Microsoft to a written tutorial or a guide. I have to become a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. So let's move on. Yeah, so, so for this section, which of the following technologies interest you? So select the ones that are of your interest. Select and take them which the one you want. Select them and all that. Yes. So for this side, um, say that if if um, if you have a Microsoft Learn profile, please share the link in your to your profile to your profile here, so that we can see what you have been learning. So Microsoft wants now the criteria, the new update is that Microsoft wants to know whether you are into the Microsoft ecosystem. You are into the Microsoft Learn because because the, the the name of the program is Microsoft Learn and you have a Microsoft you have a Microsoft Learn website where you can where we learn with the students and master and everybody in the Microsoft ecosystem go there to learn about this Microsoft Learn like Microsoft technologies and all that and we want to know whether you are into that space you are learning you are completing learning parts you are completing learning modules and all that yeah so. This 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 is the link to my profile. This is a link to my profile, and I'll be going to my profile very soon. Yeah, so provide so provide the link. So so also tell Microsoft uh, like your activities. Why do you want to be in the program? Tell so, tell Microsoft like you have about ten thousand characters to do so. So use this 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 section of the of the of the form to tell Microsoft your interests, how this program will benefit you, and at the end. Over your Microsoft Learn profile, and also as as at the time of the, this recording, the next uh, cohort that will be that, uh, that the next cohort will be in January twenty twenty three, January twenty twenty three, and for and if you want if you are if you want to apply, I recommend so the January twenty twenty three once the okay so once the application, once the application um. Once that once the, the cohort is announced in January 2023, right? The the deadline for registration I think will be in February. The deadline for the application, like for the, uh, the application for the next cohort, which will be in April, will be in February. Like that that will be that will be the, the deadline for the, the end of February, like the last day of February. Yes. Yes, so I recommend you start you start uh, uh, if, before you apply, start by learning my go on Microsoft Learn, learning completing. I recommend the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, 
learn the Microsoft le complete that learning part. Any other technologies are, of, are, are that interests you. Complete those learning parts. Complete those modules. Complete them. Then cop then go to your set. The ones you are applying, go to your settings of the Microsoft Learn profile. Then you copy the link to your profile. It's over there. It's very it's very simple. You copy that link and you paste it beneath, beneath your answers. All right. So so there's the link to my profile. Then you can see this is my profile, you can see my name here. And this these are technologies have it's have length. So have have I have learned so far. Yes, yeah, so yes, you can see the, the level I, I am at right now, level seven, right? I have 39,250 experience points. And I'm still learning. If we do, we just don't stop over here. Then so once, once you go to my once you search Microsoft Lane. So just search Microsoft Lane, right? Let me see. Some some you know knows we have to do this. So just search Microsoft Lane. So you can see Microsoft Lane take training. You click on the take training. Take training, then to pop up here. Sometimes yeah, it it to uh, it to send you to them the the home page depending on your browser you are using but I just can you select the training section uh, if you don't have an account click on sign in if, if, if that's what see that you have an account then you just create an account to the Microsoft account that's it's very very simple it's very very simple all right so uh so that's basically that yes yeah, so I'm done uh also, as I said I provide the link to my guide in the, in the description thank you very much for watching the video make sure to like comment we want to know your comments your questions comment and be in the video let's know uh, let's know where we are we are watching from uh the, if you need any assistance we are, we are here as microsoft Student ambassadors to help you out in your application process if you if you know i didn't maybe I, I didn't touch on something or something wasn't clear kindly uh, i am on i am praying satima do a linkedin also also in the video description kindly input your 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 questions i'll gladly respond to you and make sure to check it up in your youtube notification so subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel thank you very much i am prince adimado Beta Microsoft Lane Student Ambassador and see you in the next video.